Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, a pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I'll be taking our text out of Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 27. This morning, I want to talk to you about limitations. We all have them. Some are physical, uh, some are in other ways, but we all have some sort of limitations. But I would say this, that our limitations can also become an excuse as to why we can't do things. We uh, need to know that our limitations really are most, in most cases, perceived. We can overcome, we can learn to work with, around, or even better because of the limitations that we have. In this passage, God is reassuring Jeremiah uh, of something very important, that he, God, has no limitations. He says this in verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? So God is having Jeremiah answer the question, is there anything too hard for me? Let's say it this way. Are there any limitations to what I can do, Jeremiah? And so Jeremiah would have to answer that question because he's asking a question. And the answer to that question is hypothetical. It, it assumes an answer, no, there's no limits to what God can do. Now, if we serve a God without limits, that means that we too are without limits. Sometimes we base it on the circumstances that's surrounding us and we say, well, I don't have this resource, I don't have that resource, or we don't have the numbers, or we don't this, and we can go on and on and on. But that's just an excuse, not a limitation. Nearly 33 years ago, May the 21st of 1988, the Clay and Ledger in Jackson, Mississippi wrote an article. They wrote an article about a young lady named Kimberly. Kimberly was an 18-year-old high school senior. Uh, she had aspirations, desires to go on to college when she graduated high school, and uh, she wanted to become a biochemistry major. Kimberly wrote an, an essay, and she wrote it in eight hours. Uh, and that essay was an award-winning essay. It won a contest in the state of Tennessee, uh, and it also, uh, she received a $2,000 prize uh, as a result of that essay. She wrote it in only eight hours. So what's so special about this essay? What's special about this essay is the special person that wrote it. You see, Kimberly couldn't walk or talk and had very limited use of her arms. She communicated through Morse code. Her father and a friend, they put together a computer system nearly 33 years ago to where Kimberly could communicate with them. She communicated by nodding and gesturing. And then it becomes even more unique because the title of the essay that Kimberly wrote was this. Please hear me. Doing One's Best. As I think about this, I cut that article out of the paper, the Clarion Ledger, nearly 33 years ago, and I've kept it. I recently looked at that article and thought to myself, the only limitations I have are the ones that I place on myself. Jeremiah was feeling the limitations of the flesh. But then God comes to Jeremiah and he says, is there anything too hard for me? God told Jeremiah, there are no limitations. And Jeremiah had to answer that as it was a question. No, God, you have no limitations. And so that means that God can do anything through anybody at any time he desires to do it. There are no limitations. Don't place limitations on yourself today. Don't decide what you can and cannot do, or rather only what you cannot do. Decide what you can do. Learn to use your infirmities, your afflictions, your limited resources. Learn to use it to accomplish your goal. Please remember the title of this essay, Doing One's Best. I want to tell you today, friends, do your best to glorify the Lord. Do your best to rise above. Just simply do your best today. Please know this. The Lord Jesus loves you. And I love you too. Please pray with me. Father, help us to do our best today and to realize that you are limitless. And therefore, we are limitless. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my friends, until we meet again.